You guys, I'm real transparent with you. Absolutely hate this shit right here. And I think they need to do something different about it. You know what I'm saying? Every time I go to a website to make a hat, if I was going to sell it or not, if I was going to do something with it, I can't get the realistic look. You know what I'm saying? Look, this is trash. I know it's a Pepsi hat. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm trying to make a Pepsi hat. But if I was, this is not the accurate representation that I'm trying to get out there. If I was to put this on Instagram, people are going to laugh at it. Be like, bro, you are the mock-up king. What is this? You know what I'm saying? Why would I want to sell anything on Instagram like this? What am I supposed to do? Screenshot this and then send it out to everybody like, hey, look, I'm making a Pepsi hat. And they're looking at this logo like, bro, that's heck of flat for somebody who's the mock-up king. Bro, what you mean? Why are you doing this to yourselves? You got, I'm pretty sure people buy from this place. I'm not going to say what website this is, but I'm pretty sure people buy from them. Why can't they give us something that's good? Why can't we get something that's accurately right? And you know what I'm saying? It looks right, you know, like I can go ahead and just screenshot it and throw up it on my Instagram. I mean, what's the point of me being able to click outside of the box? Like if I click on the box, you know, we got this little stuff here. But if I click outside the box, this is what we get. But it still doesn't look realistic. It looks like they're about to screen print that mug on top of it. And I'm going to have this screen printed hat kind of looking like, you know, whatever, you know. And I put this up on Instagram and people are like, bro, no. You know what I'm saying? That's why I created this hat mock-up. Look at this. You know what I'm saying? It's already stitched in. You can just see what you want from this. So let's just say I wanted to recreate that hat in this Photoshop template, and I'm going to send my hat to them. I'm going to send the design to them so they can create the hat. I would just come over into my layers panel. All right. So for starters, once you guys get this, it's going to look a little bit something like this, right? All you got to do is hit the drop down, go down to hat, go down to change color, right? And then here you can change the hat color so we're just gonna go ahead double click on the camera double click on it right click on color you know i'm just gonna go ahead and type in my colors because i know exactly what i want with this so this this one is the blue so i'm gonna hit 5 a 6 2 9 f right that kind of gives us that little denim look or whatnot it's not it's not completely accurate but it's better than what you know we're gonna get over there when i finish everything out but go ahead and hit okay we go to the brim so that's basically everything that's left over so like all this white i'm just gonna go ahead and try and change that up so i'm gonna double click on this right here and then i'm gonna go into the color again and i'm gonna type in what i want so uh, i think that's d06161 right hit okay now we got this hat and it looks like a, a real representation of what that hat's about to look like even though it's cut out the background and all that stuff we don't really it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it looks way better than what we got now because look the drop image here is an actual patch an actual stitching okay so we're gonna scroll up go to edit patch double click on it right and look i've already dropped in my image and all you gotta do is drop in your image take out the drop image here and hit command s go back and look it's a patch it's a patch hat it looks good it looks it looks almost realistic right almost realistic but we can change it up and make it look even better if you guys are satisfied with that Go ahead and give me a like real quick because I feel like that's way better than what you're going to get on the internet anywhere, right? But we can go ahead and change this up just a little bit more. So if you like this, let's go back into this patch, okay? And we go into the graphic. I've had to separate these colors. I wanted to separate these colors because technically that's what they're going to do when you get your hat made. They're going to separate the colors and then they're going to put them up in different stitches and stuff like that. So we're going to hit the magic wand tool, go into the graphic and just select them out. Hit command J and let it kind of like move itself out you know let's make layers into this so we got this layer we got this layer and we got this layer all you have to do is just hit the magic wand tool go to your your actual graphic click hit command j go back into that graphic click on the white command j go back into the graphic click on the blue command j and now you got a color separated logo right which is what they're gonna do anyways you just click on one of them hit command s save it go back into the hat mock-up right you turn off everything except for the patch so you go into your layers panel you turn off the 950 logo you turn off the hat graphic you turn off the hat and you're just left with this right here right you go to file export save for web hit save you give it a number you can give it a color you can say whatever i'm gonna just put white go back into the patch and just repeat the process for everything else you're going to build out something a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to go back to the hat mock-up. I'm just going to go ahead and go to export, save for web, hit save. It will say this is red. Go back into the patch mock-up. Go to the blue, 
hit command s save it out go back into the hat mockup go to export save for web save we'll call this one blue now i just want to come back in turn off the patch turn back on the 950 logo turn back on the hat graphic turn back on the hat okay so we got everything i'm gonna close down the mock-up the hat mock-up and then i'm gonna go to layer one go into my finder take all of this stuff right just select all of it so the, the white red and blue i'm just gonna go ahead and drag that into photoshop real quick and just watch it build itself out and make this realistic looking patch now i think this looks better if i was just to go back into the patch mock-up and go down here to the actual graphic turn the graphic back on and hit command s right then go back into the mock-up and basically bring back the patch throw these into a group real quick so we can look at it if i was to turn off the group and we had just a regular patch we got this versus this right this is more realistic i feel like i can put this on instagram and people take that a little serious like bro did you just get a a pepsi like sponsorship bro like like it looks ma amazing it looks good you know what i'm saying and i mean this looks good too you can do the scale up and all that stuff it looks good too but i like mine to look realistic so if i put it out anywhere it has the ridges it's not no flat graphic and nobody's judging me and i don't have to feel like i'm half anything because i'm putting in a full effort to make something look real you guys can get this patch mock-up in the description box below this absolutely makes me upset because i talk to these businesses i say all the time why don't y'all make something realistic for people to see whenever they get it they can screenshot it and then put it out to their following so their following can love them a little bit more and respect them they don't respect you guys to do that they look at you guys and say Psh, that's too much work for us to make them look good that what you want to look good you want to look good that's bull and i'm sorry that pisses me off so much i didn't have no reason to make this video until now you have all these people talking about you can make two thousand dollars at home by thinking up a logo sending your logo into somebody who's going to turn it into a patch you know order 30 of them and then sell them a for like 25 to 35 dollars each and you can repeat that you know what i'm saying but because these people don't care about you like that, you're never going to get that opportunity to actually make something unless you partner up with somebody who's going to waste their stuff. And for you to be like, I don't know if I like it like that, you can just make it in Photoshop real quick and be done with it. I think this is a better win. And if you think so, too, let me know in the comment section below. But you guys, I'm going to get up out of here. So stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome.